Hello friends. Welcome to study time. Today current affairs for competitive exams 2021. Sipler, Roche launch COVID-19 antibody cocktail. Roche Pharma India and Sipler have announced the launch of the first batch of Regenerans antibody cocktail of Kasarivimab and Indevimab in India at 59,750 rupees per dose. The drug will be used to treat high-risk non-hospitalized COVID patients. Sipler will distribute the two-dose pack at 119,500 rupees. The second batch will be made available by mid-June 2021. Drones to take off for trials from June. India's first drones to deliver COVID-19 vaccines are expected to take off in Telangana in the next two to three weeks. They will ferry a total of 10,000 vials from a central location to primary health centers nearby. During the trials, which are likely to be conducted in June 2021, seven consortiums will deliver vaccines, emergency medicines and blood. Kerala student designs masks with Max. A first-year B.Tech student from Thrissur Government Engineering College has come up with an innovative gadget that can especially be useful for doctors and other healthcare staff. Kevin Jacob has designed a mask with a mic and a speaker attached after he observed his parents struggling to communicate with their patients. The gadget can be used continuously for 4 to 6 hours. Madurai Corp launches vending vehicle. The Madurai Corporation has launched mobile vegetable vending vehicles as all vegetable markets will remain shut during the COVID lockdown imposed in the state. On the 21st of May 2021, the state reported an all-time high of 36,184 new infections besides 467 fatalities in a single day. However, in the last two days, the daily cases have marginally declined. Zydus Cadillac launches drug Ujvira. Zydus Cadillac has launched Ujvira, a drug used for the treatment of breast cancer. The company has launched Trastuzumab Mtansine, the first antibody drug conjugate ADC, biosimilar and a highly effective drug for treating both early and advanced HER2 positive breast cancer, under the brand name Ujvira. It can significantly reduce treatment cost by almost 80%. HT Labs launches Content Discovery app. HT Labs has launched Autplay, a content discovery platform offering curated shows and movies on streaming platforms. The recommendations will be based on a user's preference, such as language, platform, genre, actors, and filmmakers, from a selection of 150,000 movies and 30,000 shows. It will also curate news, reviews, and listicles, which are produced in-house and by publications. Singapore approves COVID breath test. Singapore authorities have provisionally approved a COVID-19 breathalyzer test. It aims to show whether someone is infected with the coronavirus in under a minute. Breathonics, a spin-off company from the National University of Singapore PNAS, is now working with the health ministry to run a Deployment trial of the technology at one of the city-state's border points with Malaysia. TCS Cordevita wins a title. The ninth season of TCS Cordevita has won a Guinness World Records title as the world's largest computer programming competition. It had 136,054 participants from 34 countries. Champion for the year 2021, Ben Alexander Murchok of Stevens Institute of Technology, New Jersey, is the competition's first ever U.S. winner. Kotec issues India's first FPI license. Kotec Mahindra Bank has issued the first ever foreign portfolio investor FPI license to the Gift IFSC Alternative Investment Fund AIF, of True Beacon Global. This is the first FPI license issued to an AIF incorporated in Gift IFSC by any custodian bank or designated depository participant DDP, in the country. SEBI imposes penalty on Cairn India. SEBI has imposed a penalty of 5.25 crore rupees on Cairn India for making a misleading announcement regarding the buyback of shares in 2014. The market regulator has also levied a fine of 15 lakh rupees each on P. Elango, Aman Mehta, and Neer Sharma. The three officials had signed the public advertisement regarding the buyback in January 2014 and facilitated the company in making the misleading announcement. Jane Goodall wins Templeton Prize. Jane Goodall, the world-renowned primatologist and conservationist, has won the 2021 Templeton Prize. She is only the fourth woman to win the award, established by the late investor and philanthropist Sir John Templeton.
She follows Francis Collins, director of the National Institutes of Health, who won the $1.5 million prize in 2020 for leading the Human Genome Project to its completion. MRPL acquires 100% stake in ONGC Mangalo. ONGC Mangalo Petrochemicals, OMPL, a subsidiary of Mangalo Refinery and Petrochemicals, MRPL, has now become a wholly owned subsidiary of MRPL. This follows the acquisition of the remaining 0.00027776% share in OMPL by MRPL from ONGC. OMPL Complex is the largest single stream unit in Asia to produce 914 kilotpa per axiline and 283 kilotpa benzene. Diageo pledges 45 crore rupees for India. Diageo has pledged 45 crore rupees to help nodal government hospitals in 21 districts in India to set up oxygen plants based on pressure swing adsorption PSA technology, besides providing state governments with mini hospital units in another 15 critical districts. With this pledge, Diageo has so far contributed 130 crore rupees towards India's COVID relief efforts. A student design school pay kit. An engineering student Nihal Singh Adarsh from KJ Somaya College has invented a ventilation system for pay kit. The CorvTech ventilation system takes the surrounding air filters it and pushes it into the pay suit. With guidance from Dr. Ulhas Kharul of National Chemical Laboratory, Pune Nihal was able to develop the first model in 20 days. Phil Mickelson wins PGA Championship. In golf, Phil Mickelson won the PGA Championship by two shots over Brooks Koepker and South African Lewis Osthausen on 23 May 2021 to become the oldest major winner in history. The victory by Mickelson marked the sixth major championship win of his career and the first since the 2013 British Open. He surpassed the record previously held by Julius Boros, who won the PGA Championship in 1968. Volcano erupts in eastern DR Congo. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, Mount Niragongo erupted on 23 May 2021. It turned the sky red and brought in a strong smell of sulfur to the streets of the city which is home to nearly 2 million people. The volcano last erupted in 2002, with some 250 people losing their lives and lava destroying approximately one-fifth of the city, including airport runways. SCZ Committee Releases Manual External Affairs Minister Dr. Jayashankar reached New York on 24 May 2021 on a five-day visit to the United States. In New York, he is expected to meet UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, In Washington, D.C., he will hold discussions with his U.S. counterpart Antony Blinken. He will have interactions with business forums on economic and COVID-related cooperation between India and the U.S. Supreme Court's A Committee has released a manual for its free A Court Services mobile app in 14 languages. The app is available in English, Hindi, Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Kannada, Khasi, Malayalam, Marathi, Nepali, Odia, Punjabi, Tamil, and Telugu. It aims to benefit litigants, citizens, lawyers, law firms, police, government agencies, and other institutional litigants. Shrikumar Banerjee passes away. Former Chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission Dr. Shrikumar Banerjee passed away in May 2021. He had retired as the Secretary of the Department of Atomic Energy in 2012. Prior to the Atomic Energy Commission, he served as the Director of the Babha Atomic Research Center, BARC. He had received the Padma Shri in 2005 and the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Award in 1989. Ministry of Ayush Organizing Webinars Ministry of Ayush is organizing various activities in the run-up to the International Day of Yoga, 2021. One among these is a series of five webinars being organized under the theme Be With Yoga, Be At Home. It is being organized in collaboration with five renowned organizations of the country who will present one webinar each on a particular topic of importance in the current scenario. EAMS Jayashankar reaches New York. Hockey India wins Etienne Glicich Award. Hockey India has won the prestigious Etienne Glicich Award in recognition of its Contribution to the growth and development of the sport in the country. The award was announced by the Games Governing Body Federation International de Hockey. Named after former FIH Secretary, Etienne Glicic Award is given in every two years to acknowledge the contribution made towards the growth of hockey. Indian boxing's first Dronacharya Awardee dies.
OP Bhardwaj, India's first Dronacharya Awardi coach in boxing, died on the 21st of May 2021 in New Delhi. Bhardwaj was India's national boxing coach from 1968 to 1989 and also served as a national selector. He won the Dronacharya Award in 1985, the year it was first announced along with Bhachandra Bhaskar Bhagwat Wrestling and OM Nambiar Athletics. Rajesh Bansal, CEO of RBI's Innovation Hub. The RBI has appointed Rajesh Bansal as the Chief Executive Officer of the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub with effect from the 17th of May 2021. He was a member of the founding team of Aadhaar where he played a key role in designing India's direct benefits transfer system and electronic KYC. He has earlier served at the RBI in various areas of tech, financial inclusion and payment system. Para shuttlers to qualify for Paralympics. Women's pair of Palak Kohli and Parul Parmar on the 21st of May, 21 became the first Indian para shuttlers to qualify for Tokyo. Paralympics. The duo qualified for the SL3 SU5 women's doubles event in para badminton. The top six pairs in BWF ranking have qualified for the event and this pair is currently ranked sixth. Palak is the youngest para badminton player in the world to qualify for Tokyo Paralympics. Coco Gauff wins Amelia Romagna Open. U.S. Coco Gauff defeated Kiang Wang to win the singles title at Amelia Romagna Open and partnered with Katie McNally to win doubles title. If Gauff wins the doubles title with Katie McNally, she will become the youngest player to complete the singles double sweep in nearly 17 years, since Maria Sharapova won both titles in Birmingham in 2004. Gauff won her only previous final in Lens in 2019. Tennis player Ruud wins Geneva Open title. Norwegian Kasper Ruud won his second career title on the ATP Tour after beating Denis Shapovalov 7-6-6-6-4 in the final of the Claycourt Geneva Open on the 22nd of May 2021. The title will see Ruud moves up to 16th in the rankings. He had also won the Argentina Open title in 2020. SMS-based Remdesivir Info System in Ketika. Karnataka has put in place an SMS-based Remdesivir allocation and information system to curb its black marketing and misuse. The patient will get an SMS informing which hospital is provided the medicine against the SRFID. If the Remdesivir is allocated against the SRFID and the hospital has not provided it to the patient, a facility is provided in the same link to report it to the GOV. Mufam co-founders in Forbes under 30 list. Guru Gram-based startup Mufam's co-founders Jitesh Arora, Abhijit Mittal, and Ashna Singh have secured a place in the most esteemed, Forbes 30 under 30 Asia list. Mufam, an award-winning technology startup for dairy farmers, started its journey in 2019. The Mufam provides various services to the users, which include a dairy mitra, Mufam Sabha, and the cattle trading platform. World Choreography Awards Emmy Award-nominated choreographer Suresh Mukund has won the title of 10th Annual World Choreography Awards 2020 for the show World of Dance. He has become the first Indian to win this title. Earlier, Suresh's team had won NBC's World of Dance Season 3. Suresh was also one of the captains in the TV show Dance Plus 5. Banks to invoke personal guarantees. The Supreme Court on 21 May, 21 upheld a GOV notification of 2019 to invoke personal guarantees of promoters whose companies defaulted on bank loans. The court ruling will allow banks to file personal bankruptcies against top Indian promoters whose companies have been sent to the National Company Law Tribunal, NCLT, for debt resolution. The Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code was enacted in 2016. The end. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.